Good morning, Solution. Today's message was worth a wait for you guys because I had to get myself ready for what I was delivering so that I wouldn't be called a hypocrite. Why? Because I'm not going to use this for today. Oof. Uh oh. Okay. Well, today's message is on <coughs> the Bible. <laughs> well, actually, not to be vague, um, memorizing your uh, verses. Uh, Psalms 119.11 says, Because I have hidden your words in my heart, I will not sin against you. Now, you may be thinking, why, how would you not sin against him? How would you not sin against him in a world filled with temptation, bribes, lust, sin, all this? Well, think of this. Drumsticks. They're so just unprotected right now because I took them out of the box. They're human. They're like us. They can break if they're overplayed. Like, sin overplays us. So, if I play these way too much, they die and are cast away down to the gates of hell. But, if they live a great life, play great for us, they will last long, have great life. But still, eventually, they'll gain the sin and wither away but if you keep good care of them the word the word is in their heart that they might not sin against them they will be used for their proper play <laughs> sorry I had to use that demonstration because that's a great way of um, showing that the word works in that way. Um, <coughs> it's also good because you um not you won't have to look up the verses every single time as well. So it's gonna save you time as well and it's gonna make you a wisdom giver to all the people that don't know the gospel of Jesus Christ and so I mean when you all go back to school you're gonna probably start Bible studies, you might not, you might do something in that area that will allow you to um, have his words in your heart so that you might not sin against him and be a wisdom giver so this is really gonna help you out so um, what I think would be best if you guys don't know what to do is um this is what my junior high Christian school did we had a handout sheet and it was a verse on it we usually just did verses because they would um help us out with what we were learning but um just look through the Bible if you have a verse that you're struggling with or something like that any verse is fine pick that out write it down, print it out, do whatever, and then just read that verse for the entire week. And then the next week, read it without even looking at the paper, and there you go. You have one completed verse that you will have in your heart, and you can give out to other people. I'm very sorry about that very long wait since, um, Friday and Saturday, but I really had to get myself prepared to give out this one because I did not want to, again, be claimed a hypocrite for using the Bible when I'm talking about memory. So, thank you, Solution, for letting, uh, thank you, Solution, for the cooperation, thank you for listening, and thank you again, and that is what it's all.